Now we have the updated version of our project Elixir also based on Android 12.1 or you can say Android 12L which has the Apple security patch and I'm not talk about I'm not going to talk about the device specific things here but the new update is out from project Elixir so we have some new things which I'm going to talk about the features you have the features which are missing from here I'm going to talk about all those things so stay tuned first of all it will give you this Android 12 Easter egg in other customs some of the customs we have Android 12L Easter egg available like project glaze etc but in this one we don't have unfortunately if you move on to other things for example if you move on to the default settings default launcher etc you have the quick wallpaper picker as expectedly as it's based on android 12.1 if you're a fan of project elixir and if you want to install this you can we have the pixel launcher pre-installed as expectedly and if you want to install the modded launcher you can very easily by installing a magisk module how you can install the modded pixel launcher on android 12.1 i have a video available so make sure to check out if you need that that might be very helpful for you if you need more themed icons on a device on your leave default launcher if you move on to the quick settings panel white background as expectedly we have the white background available where you don't have any major changes or something like that the animations are as expectedly from android 12.1 no issues here there at all but if you move on to some other things for example if you talk about the asian color or custom monet theming it's there i think so but theming section does not include anything if you need to apply any custom theming or this kind of things how you can do that you need to use a repainter app for that i purchased that i've already made a video that how you can use repainter to customize your device with custom colors and pure black theme etc etc repainter is actually a very very good choice for you i tried that it's working perfectly fine in project elixir so yes if you are a user and need project elixir based on 12.1 which unfortunately does not have does not have major theming options then try out repainter for sure if you move on to the settings option let me show you some things system and gesture sector same kind of things available notification history also there battery sector almost same kind of things no ui change is available if you move on to the essence options where you have some customizations you are able to see coming soon in theme section unfortunately you can't customize anything in the theming section in this first initial update based on android 12.1 but in the upcoming ab updates we might see something should be included in this one status bar has almost same kind of customizations or features for you like clock related things battery status bar gestures network icons and indicators etc same kind of thing with other options called quick settings where we have some brightness slider related customizations only no major customizations unfortunately as expectedly some lock screen customizations also includes the force small clock secure lock screen etc etc and last but not the least we have miscellaneous customizations extras where we have in call vibration fingerprint volume notification and etc etc almost same kind of things some things which i just want to let you know i think so i've already shared with you about the project elixir latest version based on android 12.1 other than lz after all those customizations etc you also have the colors options available you can extract the wallpaper colors this is actually quite good a plus point in some customs we don't have that feature available where you can extract the colors from the default wallpapers but in this one we have that option so yes this might also be a positive thing about that same like that if you move on to the security section face lock fingerprint lock app lock nothing is compromised here so yes if you want to use these things you can app lock is included face lock fingerprint if you use these options those are already included for you no issues here at all i think so other than else things are basically same if you move on to the gesture section quick tap to start actions of course tap back or tap tap on the back side of your device this is a very useful thing for some of the users if you if you want to use this you can that's available by default i always use for taking screenshots not always but if i use this i use only for taking screenshots and system navigation two button three button all these options available and you also have the option to use a full screen gestures if you want to same kind of thing same kind of thing we also have the swipe to screenshot as expectedly and playback control other than else i think so i've already shared with you the things which i just want to let you know about link is already available in the description for all the supported all the official supported devices thanks for watching i'll see the next video goodbye
over the edge Feel like I'm floating through 